Let us talk about another very important process called photorespiration. We will understand this process in detail, but before that, we need to know why exactly and how this process takes place. In normal case, carbon dioxide is accepted by RUBP and the enzyme which helps is Rubisco. Now this Rubisco here acts as carboxylase because it is helping in addition of carbon dioxide to RUBP. So this Rubisco is acting as carboxylase. And if it acts as carboxylase, we have seen the entire process where glucose synthesis takes place. Now, when we were talking about this Rubisco, we said that its behavior changes when the conditions change. Now, what are those conditions when Rubisco starts to behave in a different manner? And what is that behavior? So, Rubisco... It acts as oxygenase instead of carboxylase. That means carboxylation was addition of carbon dioxide and oxygenase activity would be addition of oxygen. And the conditions in which this behavior is observed, that is Rubisco acting as oxygenase, is high temperature and high concentration of oxygen. If these two conditions are seen, then instead of normal carboxylase-like activity, Rubisco's activity starts as oxygenase. Now, what difference would it cause if it starts to act as oxygenase? The difference is going to be this RUBP instead of binding with carbon dioxide will now bind with oxygen. That means oxygen will be taken in and in this process some different compounds will be synthesized like glycolate and all. We'll talk about that. And by the end of this carbon dioxide will be released. That means it is going to be exactly opposite of what is happening in C3 cycle. In C3, this Rubisco is acting as carboxylase, RUBP binds with carbon dioxide and glucose is synthesized and this is a part of photosynthesis. So during photosynthesis, carbon dioxide is taken in and oxygen is given up. So in photosynthesis, CO2 is taken in and oxygen is given out. This is what we have seen. But in this different cycle now, oxygen is taken in and carbon dioxide is given out. So in photorespiration, oxygen is taken in and CO2 is given out. So now in respiration what happens is when plants or any organism respires oxygen is taken in and carbon dioxide is given out. Here also oxygen is taken in and carbon dioxide is given out. So this is similar to respiration but it is taking place due to light or in presence of light and that is why this process has been termed as photo because it is taking place in uh, presence of light and respiration because the gaseous exchange is exactly like what happens in case of respiration. The plants which suffer from these kind of problems, now this is actually a problematic situation because if oxygen is taken in and carbon dioxide is given out, from where is this carbon coming? This carbon must be coming from some carbon compound which has been synthesized as a result of photosynthesis. So if we can say it like this that photorespiration undoes or uh, the work done by photosynthesis is undone by photorespiration. 
That means in case of photosynthesis, carbon is fixed. And in case of photorespiration, carbon is released in the form of carbon dioxide. So whatever is done by photosynthesis is undone by photorespiration. Now let us also see the plants where this kind of uh, problem is seen. So the example where we see this photorespiration are mainly temperate plants. The plants which grow in temperate regions. So it would include wheat, rice, beans, barley. These are the most common but actually in simple uh, terms we can say that all those plants which perform normal C3 cycle whenever they encounter these situations that means the temperature gets more or it gets warmer and concentration of oxygen increases. In this condition rubisco which normally acts as carboxylase starts to act as oxygenase. So here the same rubisco is acting as oxygenase and due to which whatever is done by photosynthesis gets undone by photorespiration or the carbon which is fixed by photosynthesis gets released in the form of carbon dioxide in photorespiration. Now let us talk about the detailed process. This process involves three organelles, chloroplast, peroxisomes and mitochondria. That means this entire process gets completed in these three. And this is the small part where we have uh, shown the C3 cycle. So in normal case, what should have happened is Rubisco would have accepted carbon dioxide, this one. And in this case, RUBP carboxylase. That means Rubisco would have acted as carboxylase. In that case, phosphoglyceric acid, then phosphoglyceraldehyde and glucose synthesis normal. That means this is the C3 cycle which we are talking about. But this process takes place in this condition. That means temperature is higher and oxygen concentration is also higher. Then what happens? In that situation, RUBP binds with oxygen and the same Rubisco is now acting as oxygenase because conditions are like that. As a result of this, RUBP binding with oxygen or RUBP getting oxidized. The compound which is synthesized is first phosphoglycolate. This changes into glycolate and now this glycolate diffuses into peroxisome. And because of this, this entire cycle is also known as glycolate cycle. And this glycolate is a C2 compound. That means it is a two carbon compound. And so photorespiration is also known as C2 cycle. The normal one was called C3 because the first stable compound form was a three carbon compound. In this case, photorespiration term has been given because of the reason that it takes place in presence of light and the gaseous exchange or the gases released are exactly like what happens in respiration. Glycolate cycle because the compound which is formed is glycolate and that is a two carbon compound, so C2 cycle. Now this glycolate changes into glyoxylate, then glycine by addition of the amino group. Glycine diffuses into mitochondria and two molecules of glycine change into one molecule of serine with the loss of one carbon in the form of this carbon dioxide. That means oxygen is taken in and carbon dioxide is given out. This is what we were talking about. So two molecules of glycine, they change into one molecule of serine with elimination of one carbon and that carbon is lost in the form of carbon dioxide. 
This reaction is very, very important because maximum time the questions are asked here. Reason? In photorespiration, we are saying that the already fixed carbon is given out. So there is loss of carbon. And in most of the cases, the question that they ask is in which reaction is carbon dioxide given out? So that is conversion of glycine into serine and two molecules of glycine change into one molecule of serine. That is the time when car one carbon is released in the form of carbon dioxide. When glycine changes into serine, this amino group which is released, it again goes into uh, peroxisomes and helps in synthesis of glycine. So glycine to serine, amino is released and here serine to glycine that amino gets reused. So this amino group keeps getting circulated between the peroxisomes and mitochondria. Serine diffuses into peroxisome, changes into pyruvate, glycerate and this glycerate then again comes into chloroplast and changes into phosphoglycerate acid. Now this entire process which is uh, photorespiration is considered as a harmful process because in this one carbon is lost which was already fixed form of carbon but in this entire process, there is no gain, no ATP, no NADPH2, that is no energy, no reducing power, nothing is synthesized. And that is why it is considered as a harmful process. This process is seen in all these plants which grow in temperate region, predominantly in C3 plants. And that is why there are certain other uh, plants, another category of plants, which are known as C4 plants. They show certain adaptation in order to avoid this process of photorespiration. But the important things that we have to remember in this process are rather conditions in which the behavior of rubisco changes from carboxylase to oxygenase. The conditions are high temperature and high concentration of oxygen and the same process that is photorespiration is also known as glycolate cycle named after the compound which is formed and C2 cycle because this compound is a C2 2 carbon compound and carbon dioxide is released oxygen is taken in which is like respiration so respiration here and this is a part of photosynthetic process so photorespiration. In the next video, we will start with C4 plants and we will see what are those adaptations by which they are able to overcome the problem of photorespiration.